Okay, here we go. You go to your speaker in your bottom right corner, you right click on it. You're going to have recording devices and playback. Go to recording first. Click on the USB codec. It may not say Yamaha, it may just say USB audio device. When you click on it, it's going to uh, allow you to change it or set it as default. You want to click set as default. Do the same exact thing for playback. <coughs> so as I move to the playback, we're going to click on it. Also USB codec, same thing. You want to set it as default. After that, you pretty much got Windows configured to that audio device. Next, you're going to go to Persona Studio One. Go to Studio One at the top. Click Options. After you click Options, you want to select this down arrow. Find the same exact device that you did in Windows, USB codec, USB audio device, whatever it may be. Uh, click on it and hit OK. And that's pretty much it, buddy. Um, from there on, it's just a matter of uh, creating a new song. I, I suggest going up to the top here, create new song. Pick one of the templates that styles, excuse me, is what it's called. It's really a template. These are my templates, personal templates. Here's the ones that you can, 16-track uh, band recording might be a good idea. Um, Multi-track. I would probably go 16 band recording, 16-track. It'll give you a bunch of tracks. In there, you want to, um, but well, before you do, they'll have a bunch of tracks already in there ready to be, ready to record on. Your guitar player or whoever you were saying that was familiar with Personas can help you with that part. The one thing you got to remember is when you set your levels, your gain on each one of the channels, put your master fader at Unity. <coughs> That's the little dash almost at the top. All of the, the channels at Unity and adjust your mic level from the gain. Play the loudest point that y'all are going to be. Have your guitar player play loud, play your drums, whatever. Set your gain to where each one of those channels is reading less than negative 12 dB on your LED readout. And that'll allow you for headroom and for mistakes or distortion. That's the kind of thing. Negative 12 or below, babe.